Can you hear the music? I hear it. Oh. Man, some people can't hear it. Get the right oh. fired up. You, you had somebody dance? write that for you? Yeah, yeah. He was actually a guest on uh, episode... Oh, jeez. 12? 13? No? 12? 14? Maybe 14. This will be yeah. like 48 or something. Try to get lyrics added to it. All right, welcome back to another episode of On the Throne with Dick. And shout out to uh, Sanjin Boychuk for that amazing intro outro music. Recently married. Promised I'd stop saying that a few months ago. I haven't. Uh, <laughs> uh, this this week on the podcast, we have my, I don't know if I'm, I might get in trouble for it. I have my second favorite lesbian on TikTok, on the socials. My second favorite lesbian on the socials, Riker in the Six. Okay, hold on. I didn't know that. You didn't tell me that before I agreed to this. Wait, 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 wait. Second. Second? Second. You, you, you could pass Joanna, depending. I mean, you are here. Joanna's been supposed to come on the podcast, like, I don't know, months ago. She's busy with her own podcast, doing her own stuff. Yeah. I get it. But I can't compete with her. No. You could. You're right. You, You're right. You could, be, you could be number one. You could be. Yeah? Yeah. What do yeah. I got to do? What do I gotta do to make you love me? I don't know. You you make I don't know. You make pretty good content, but and, and, you know what? I think you're smaller than Joanna, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Was? you're my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, number one. There we go. There we go. Got gotta there show go. love to the smaller creators still grinding yeah. it out, you know. Um, yeah. you know who Ashley Matthew? Ottawa? No. You don't know who Ashley Matthew is? Oh man. No, I'm not good with names though. I'm good with faces. Okay, she numbers. she's like blonde hair. Does the she lives in Ottawa? She got she has a girlfriend who lives in Florida, I believe, and she travels there a lot. She does like um um a mindset workout type. That's her niche. She she's she's pretty pretty awesome too. Yeah, yeah. Is she but, pretty? Is she pretty? Ah, uh, you see, yeah, I think so. I think she's pretty. I think I think she's got it going on for herself. I All guess. Right. I'll check yeah. her out then. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's going on with you? Uh, not too much. Got this beautiful tree up behind me today. Um, we had to wait till, you know, rem remember and stay past. But uh, my kid's been bugging me uh, to get the the Christmas tree up. And so she pulled out the box today. And, you know, this is where I'm at. Okay. Usually I'm out. Okay. We got to wait till at least Remembrance Day. At the very least right as as canadians and then i figure like our american friends they 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 like to wait till thanksgiving right canadians we have our thanksgiving way past in october so americans they like to wait um but you know what i'm at a i'm at a point right now and i thought about this today because my kid was you know asking and i'm like no like we gotta wait we gotta wait we gotta wait just a little bit longer. Like I just felt like it was too soon every year. I'm 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 having this conversation with her. And then it it hit me. What am I waiting for? Right? There is so much pain and suffering in the world, especially right now. Right now with everything that's going on around the world. Like why am I delaying this happiness and this satisfaction for an 11 year old girl so i'm like you know what what the hell let's do it if that let's makes you happy let's do it i make you happy sooner and i make you happy for longer there isn't much that brings me joy in this world but my kid definitely does so if i can you know give her a little bit of an extended happiness let's do it hell yeah hell yeah. yeah and yeah like you said there's so much like pain and suffering going on in the world right like just in the last two days alone have you have you paid attention to what's happening around the world in the last two days alone like this like supersedes like the whole Middle East thing right now. There there's more happening there, but like you got Spain is in like uh political uprising right now. I I'm they're they're in like a civil war at the moment. Like it's happening. Yeah. The UK issued a travel advisory against Canada the other day. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. Yeah. And um Russia and NATO both pulled out of the treaty they signed in 1990 to keep the arms race in Europe uh, from uh, to to a minimum to keep weapons going into Europe at a minimum, 
and they both backed out of it. Russia backed out of it, uh, citing that you know NATO, NATO has kind of shit all over it. But but then then NATO's like whatever, and then they backed out of it, right? So, you know, it's it's a it's a pretty pretty like you know um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It, it's a it's an interesting time, scary time. I don't know scary. why. I guess it, scary. Ah, uh, yeah, for yeah. Sure. It's it's definitely crazy, but you know. Um, if yeah like you said if you know all that's happening why not bring joy to someone else you know like you, it's yeah. your kid bring joy who cares let's forget about everything happening outside of you know our home right now and and focus on what's going on here and try to bring some happiness right. and turn the light on in here so right that's where yeah. i'm at absolutely yeah. that's amazing that's a, i love that um my wife she so Halloween was barely over. Like we had gotten home. The, the, I'd never taken my kids trick or treating before, by the way, up until the other day, uh, one six and one is three. And I'm always, I work away. So, you know, yeah. I, I'm always at work, but I, I, I got a little petty. My, my boss pissed me off. So I am like, Hey, you know what? I'm going home. Screw that. So I left and I took my kids trick or treating and it was really neat, but my when I got home, we the kids went to bed, and my wife's like, "Hey, can you go? Can you go get something for me up up in the attic?" And I'm like, "Oh, I know exactly what this is, right?" I went and grabbed it. She's like, "You gotta help me with this today," and I'm like, "I'm calling my boss. I'm going back to work." <laughs> right? And, <laughs> no, I stayed home for a few more days, but uh, she she's got an idea to have two Christmas trees in the house this year. She wants one upstairs and one in the basement in the kids' playroom, and it's like, uh... whatever makes you happy, you do it. Whatever, like, you know, like, like a full tree, like two full trees. Yeah, two full trees. It's, I don't, I don't You're know. You're the second person today that's telling me about a second tree. Like, as if one wasn't enough, one dying in your living room wasn't enough, right? And you're sweeping up needles everywhere. And, ooh, gotta be careful how you say that, though. Uh, sweeping up pine needles. You're sweeping right. up pine needles everywhere. And, like, you know, um, Oh, by the way, can you go sweep the floor downstairs too? What? Yeah. What is this? Is it, it wasn't if keeping my house clean wasn't hard enough around this time of year. You just went and made it worse. What is yeah. this? Yeah, <laughs> it gave you a little more work to do. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. what what do you do for work? I I I don't. I've never seen it. I've never you know like I've seen I've seen you got a nice uh, what what do you drive there? Is that a G wagon? No, <laughs> no, it's a Jeep Wrangler that looks like a G wagon. Yeah, <laughs> it looks it looks like a G wagon. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, I've had other people say that to me. Uh, it's because of the the body colored everything. That's why there's no black trim on it at all. That's yeah. how I wanted it, and that's what makes it look like a like a G wagon. Um, but here's the thing about me, um, I don't discuss work. No, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So I get asked questions. Uh, that's a very common question um, that I get asked on my platform. And I try to keep my private life as private as possible. Yeah. Um, but, you know, once you start to get a little, like, more numbers behind your name and your, your platform starts to grow bigger, uh, people will dig. They'll dig and, and, they'll, and they'll find it. And people have found the information that they're looking for, uh, but I don't feed into it. Um, I can tell you that I work in law enforcement, and it's so it's just really just like a safety issue that I just don't discuss. Yeah, yeah good for you. Detail, no, so, I, I just saw yeah. your. I just saw your. You know, I just saw your what I thought was a G wagon, and then you know I saw. I'm a self-made like millionaire. Gonna... Good for you. <laughs> That's what I tell people when they ask. <laughs> I, I'm a self-made millionaire. Yeah. That's all they need to know. You, even if it's not true, hey, let them let, keep them guessing, right? That's keep it. them guessing. Uh, but but it looks like you know you've got a you look like you have a nice house and you look like you drive a G wagon and and you live in Toronto. So the yeah. the assumption is that like oh man, what is, she got I'm loaded. stocks or something. Yeah yeah, yeah you got to be loaded, loaded to live in Toronto. I'm from Hamilton. Yeah. I had to leave Hamilton because I'm not loaded. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. that was sort of the thing there. No, like we're, we're good. Like we're, we're comfortable. We're comfortable. Yeah. But yeah, it's, Toronto is super expensive. 
Um, and I can't stand the city. You know what? My daughter, she uh, she plays on a traveling softball team. So we're like all over Ontario throughout the summer. And so we go to, you know, all these tiny little smaller cities that, you know, that we're visiting. And uh, this past summer, I fell in love with Windsor, Ontario. I know. Windsor's Windsor. beautiful and it's cheap. Yeah. Cheaper. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. Just all the... All the, the, the streets, just tree-lined streets, one after the other. It was just, uh, I loved it. Yeah. And so. if you're in that side of, I don't want to bring it up again. You, if you're in the law enforcement side of things, Windsor's perfect. The bridge is right there. You know what I mean? You got, like, all the people bringing stuff over all the time. You know, you can be bad. I'm not trying to glorify that either. I'm just like trying to be funny about it, but it sounds bad as I'm saying it. So it's like, you know, like I got you. my, my uncle lives in uh, Sussex or Essex County. I think it's Essex yeah. County. He lives out near Windsor. He lives in Amherstburg and my grandmother lives in Windsor. Now she, she got moved there from uh, Winnipeg. She she's in a home in, in Windsor. Now uh, she had two strokes a couple years ago. Can't really, do much of anything anymore but you know my uncle wanted her to be closer so he can like take yeah. care of her and stuff and so yeah my my cousins you know, my uncle's kids live there and yeah i know i've been to windsor quite a bit windsor's a beauty of a town yeah so it's something that you know we're we're, we're talking about we were there for uh her provincial championship so we were there for about four days and um in between games like we were on mls which is the like a realtor app and we were ch checking out properties and seeing what you can get. And I, it's, yeah. So it, you could, it's, it's there. You, you could sell your house in Toronto and buy like three in Windsor. Three. <laughs> yeah, see? yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. See? yeah. And my G-Wagon. I could sell my G-Wagon and, and, and get like, and five, I could get five houses. <laughs> we could call it a J-Wagon. Or J-Wagon? J-Wagon. We call it a J-Wagon. Okay, let's call it a J-Wagon. Do, do you that. have, like, the Easter eggs anywhere on your Jeep? Like, I have a Jeep Patriot, and, like, there's some in the window. I have a I have a hidden speaker in the back somewhere. I've had this thing for seven years. I've never found it. I have no idea. I've been told about these eggs. Um, I, I don't know, I, and I, but I haven't looked either. Yeah, so I, I don't know. You, you I don't would know have where like, to look. look. Some of them have tarantulas, like spiders like little spider emblems. Some of them have like a Jeep going up a hill. Um, I have that. Yeah, yeah, I have that. That That's an Easter egg. Oh, so not all Jeeps have those? No, 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 no. No, you might have a couple. If you've got a Wrangler, I think there might even be a couple of Easter eggs in the Wrangler. Have you Googled okay. it or YouTubed it at all? No, no, just people always tell me about Go YouTube it. Go YouTube got... it and then start searching around your Jeep. How long have you had the Jeep? uh since april i think i have that the jeep on the windshield but i also have have it on my rims yeah that could be an easter egg too see yeah yeah i have a hidden speaker somewhere that i've not found in seven years and i just traded it in for but how do you uh, know though a mitsubishi outlander oh but yeah. how do you know like how do you know that you have a hidden speaker how do you know that I Googled it. I, I was like, hey, what what do I have that's an Easter egg? I have a Jeep too, even though it's only a Jeep Patriot. Like, whoa, whoa, it's not it's not even the cool Jeep. It's like the shitty like stepbrother of Jeeps, right? And it's like, what, what do I got? Right. And so they they said all the, the, the stuff and then the Patriot has apparently the Patriot has a speaker. And you haven't found it. I haven't found it. I haven't really done that much looking. Like the one day I like gutted my Jeep and I was searching for this thing. Yeah. Um, but I haven't, I've never found it really. You haven't found it. So yeah, we're still talking about the Jeeps, right? Not the female anatomy. We're, we're still talking about the Jeep. Oh, like I, I still haven't found <laughs> that either. If that's what you're talking nope. about, you know, that's elusive. I've been looking, I've been looking, you know, I've been with her for almost 20 years, you know? And, um, yeah, no, not for lack of trying. You know, I've I've done some extensive extensive research into that. Yeah, right. I've yeah. even had it's to there. Google and apparently, but it's it's there. I don't believe it. Yeah. I don't believe it. I don't. Believe yeah, it. no, it's there. You can't convince <laughs> me. You can't convince me that it's there. I don't believe it. Um, she found mine this past summer though. Oh, yeah, my wife. Okay, so 
we, you know, 20 years and, you know, we, you, it's amazing how after all that time, you can still discover things about each other. It's just like, oh, my God, this person's an elusive mystery to me. This is cool. Right. She found it. Like I had to, I, I felt like I've told this story in the podcast. Um, my wife has not listened to that episode. Maybe she'll listen to this one. So I was like, I felt like I was floating in the air. Like I left the bed. It was yeah. insane. And like, um, <laughs> he left the bed. I had to like, and I don't know if this is appropriate enough, but I had to like reach around to see if it was still like full of blood. Right. Cause like, um, I couldn't feel it. It was, I could feel everything else None. but that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, it was, it was a good time. Yeah. So yeah. this just happened once? No, no, a couple times now. But, like, you know, um, so it started in the shower. Okay. And I had never, I talked about it a lot. And I had, and, and I had never, you know, ATM ass to mouth, right? Like, you know, like I'd never I'd never done that. And I was thought like, oh, that's gross. I'm not doing that. But then, you know, at the guys and I guys and I at work, we talk about it all the time. They're like, man, you need to get on this. Like, stop procrastinating. Just get to it. And I'm like, hmm. So I get home after like, I don't know, it was like four weeks away and and I get home and we're in the shower and I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> went just just went for it. And it, and it was great. We both enjoyed it, right? And then yeah. she's like, well, now it's my turn, right? And and I was like, oh, all right, here we are, right? Yeah. And uh, man, my father-in-law listens to this. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, my mother's going to see this. Yeah. Hey, it's all good. Hey, your mom saw something last night. I wasn't going to bring this up yet, but your mom was, was, was your mom watching last night? So she was in my live uh, uh, for a little while. I, I don't think she, maybe she left. It may may have been past her bedtime. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think she saw the part that you're, you're talking. Yeah, I don't think so. I hope not. Well, if she left, <laughs> that was very accommodating of her. It was accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, yeah. so I Googled it. I Googled it while, we, while I was in your live. And I, I'm like, no way. Like, how does this work? Right. And you're like, you're, you're just describing it in great detail. Right. And I was like, this is, I'm trying to picture it. Like, so, and my comment, cause you have a lot of people that go in your lives. Good for you, by the way, that's huge. You got a quite the fit following. And, um, and so my comment kept getting lost in the other ones. And I'm like, this feels like my jaw is going to break. Like, is my jaw going to break? Is she, is, is she breaking my jaw? This could be a really awkward trip to the ER. What happened to no, your jaw? No, no, no. See, that's no. Now this is why she hovers. Yeah. Hover. Not, you don't, she doesn't actually sit. She, she hovers. Okay. Uh, yeah. So your, your jaw is fine. I'm yeah, you're good. And, but, you're but good. you said, but you said when this is going on, like, don't look in the mirror. Afterwards. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous looking. Yeah, I, I you piqued my interest. Okay, do you have this thing with you? I I told you I was going to ask you about it. I, I it's it, it's under lock and key. It's here. Yeah, you have it under. Oh yes, you treat it like the <laughs> firearms. Eh? You treat it like the guns. This is a weapon. We're we're keeping this. Oh, this it's thing a needs to be. This thing needs to be. Yeah. All right. All right. No, I I hey, you know what? Is Trudeau going to come looking for that thing? <laughs> it's a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> you might. You might. Uh, that's awesome. No. So, yeah. so it sits on your like jaw kind of? Yeah, so on your um, chin. On your it chin. sits on it sits on your chin. So listen. I, I've been in and out of these shops since I was, you know, in my late teens and I would constantly see this thing in these shops. And now, you know, 2023, everything's online. I'm look, I'm I'm in these shops online and I'm seeing it and it's still not registering. I I've seen it year after year and it, it was not registering like the what it's for, what what to do with it. And then um one day it registered, it clicked, and I was like, I gotta have that. I gotta have it and I gotta have it now. The problem was it was a Sunday. And those shops are closed on Sundays. So 
um, I'm Googling and I actually found this shop in Toronto open on Sundays, but it's an online only shop, right? Uh, no in-person shopping and they deliver for an extra fee. So, uh, Ooh. and the, and the same day delivery. I was like, perfect. Cause I want this tonight. Cause you never and know. You got that, and you got that Toronto money, right? So you paid for that extra delivery. Oh, you know it. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's that G-Wagon money. It's that G-Wagon, uh, <laughs> J-Wagon. J the J-Wagon, the J-Wagon. So um, add to cart, right? And the brilliant thing about it was as soon as I added that thing to cart and I, and it, and I paid for it, I watched it on my phone go from the warehouse all the way to my house, like GPS. It was like Uber Eats. That's, yeah, yeah, someone was eating all right. right? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got that. Yeah. So, and it shows up at my house. And I, I, I pull it out of the packaging. And yeah, it's like absolutely ridiculous looking. So, it, it's got a strap. And it sits on your, on your chin. And, oh. Lights out. Lights out. That was a dog. Give me a second. Let me let yeah. me plug that back in so you can see my demonstration. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's awesome. Uh, I on, think was that was that a, was that a sign? Was that a sign from like you? You got it on a Sunday. This is a Sunday. Should we be talking about this on a Sunday? <laughs> Listen, they call me Jesus on TikTok. Is it Jesus or Jesus? No, it's Jesus. Okay, it's Jesus. So yeah, it, it it sits on the chin, and then there's uh you lay back, and so this thing would be, uh, vertical. Yeah. Right, and then there's the hovering motion, right, and there's insertion, and then your mouth is free, to do other things. Mm -hmm. Brilliant concept, brilliant. However, it could use a little tweaking. Uh, it, it was most definitely created by a man. You know how I know? Because the thing's like 12 inches long. <laughs> it, it needs it, four inches tops. That's all you need. That's all. So, it, it, yeah, it needs some tweaking. But well, yeah. well, that spot you said apparently exists that I still it don't exists. believe it exists is only three and a bit inches in, right? Oh, no. See, I was referring to the one on the outside, the external one. That. Oh. Have you found that? Oh, of course. I found that yeah. one. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. You can no, see that one. Yeah, you can see that one. Okay. Exactly. You can that see it. But do you know how many people can't, they can't see it? It's As I get older, I need glasses it. to see it. But like, I can see it. It's there. You don't need glasses. As long as you know where everything is, you can just feel your way around. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I was trying to say uh, when you were talking about that, um, but you know, the the comments once again I kept yeah, and I don't know if I was allowed to write it either. I I don't think I could write that word. Do you remember the condom shack in Toronto? Yeah, yeah. Right. How many different condoms could a guy find or a gal find in 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 the condom shack? Uh, yeah, I, I don't work in that department, so I I don't know. It, no, like <laughs> it was thousands. There was. Yeah, thousands of different kinds. Like you know, uh, I don't like the Magnum shit because the Magnum shit is just a money grab. No one's actually that big. It's just to make the tiny guys feel better about themselves, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then they had everything. Like you want strawberry flavored ones? You got strawberry yeah. flavored ones, right? And so and it's not around anymore. No, I heard it closed. I don't know. I'm I haven't oh. been there in uh, yeah. over ten years. Uh -huh. I, I I heard it closed down though, and I I did Google it once, and I. I think it did say it was closed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I love this. So so ten out of ten, or yeah. or rate right out of ten. What would you What would you give the the accommodator? Uh okay. I can't really say, only because I wasn't on the on the receiving end of it. Hold on, babe. No. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> She'll tell you it was too big. That's what she'll tell you. Um, like I said, the concept is brilliant. It just yeah. needs to be on the smaller side and the quality could be a lot better. Um, 
but as the giver, uh, 10 out of 10. But it's always a 10 out of 10. I'm That's right. That's giver. right. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So like, As long as I'm eating, I'm happy. I'm Italian. <laughs> hey, bada bing, bada boom. Hey, bada boom. Know? That's bada it. Bada boom. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna I was gonna ask if you're Italian actually. Like you kinda look Italian, but like, you know, I don't I you never know in Toronto, right? Yeah. Everybody's everything. So, you know. No, that's yeah, I get a little bit of everything. I get Hispanic, I get uh um, I see that a little bit. Not not much. Not yeah, really, though. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm Italian. Full so my my brother and 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 this is kind of going to segue into like kind of how I was going to ask ask just a minute ago, but I wasn't sure how. My brother came out as gay like fuck four years ago, and I knew this oh. dude was gay like twenty years ago. Okay, like yeah. there's no way you're wearing a baby blue uh, um, baby blue turtleneck with frosted tips <laughs> and two earrings, and you're not gay. Okay, like right. Bro, I get it. He's like on my yeah. on his birthday. He's like, oh, so I'm gay, and I'm like, okay, I know. Like, yeah. He's like, no, no, I'm gay. He? Oh, he's like 40 now. He'll be 40 wow. years soon. So like, he was yeah, 30, 40, 35, 30, 35, 36. When he, holy shit, it's my age that I am now. When he came out, good for him. Um, so yeah, he was he was telling me that and and so I'm like good for you man. I already knew this. Like I wasn't joking, right? Like I knew. Yeah. I never really bothered you about it. I knew. You gave off yeah. that energy, man, you know? I knew before you did. And like the dude's been married to four different women and he's 40 years old, you know what I mean? Like it didn't work with women, bro. I know, you know? <laughs> and yeah. and and he was 35, actually, uh, when, when he told me. So, like, four different women before he was 35, he was married to. So, you know, um, nothing wrong with that. And and um, yeah. so he has, he's 40 now. His boyfriend, I think, is 20 right now. Good for him. Okay. He's getting them younger models. He's slaying it. My brother, I've seen the thing, all right? I've seen what he's working with. It's at least 12. I'm not even shit. Ooh. Like the dude's packing. He's a monster, right? It's crazy. So um, he doesn't even listen to this. What the hell? Now I'm going to have to send him the link. Um, but like, so um, I asked him one time, I'm like, so does it hurt? He's like, does what hurt? I'm like, man, like, you know, go get in the bed. He's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't do that. I'm like, what? Oh. He's like, I'm the giver. I'm like, I always just thought everybody, it was like one big happy family and everyone's giving yeah. each other gifts and you're exchanging presents on Christmas morning underneath yeah. the tree and shit. <laughs> yeah. That's what I always thought. But but you just said like, you don't know, you you never received or you, you were no, the recipient no, no, no. of that. I did not. I was not the recipient of the accommodator. However, we call that a pillow princess. What you're describing right there is, is somebody who, you know, only receives... No, no, I, I'm a receiver as well. Okay, uh, okay. I, I prefer, giving is my favorite. I, I love, it's my favorite. So it's um, that time of year too, right? So. Yeah, right, but I do, I love receiving too. Sure, why not, man? Yeah, why it's not? it's a it's a team effort. Right, and yeah. you know, that comes back to like when my wife found my spot. You know, I didn't know that I also liked receiving. You know, like, hey, and that sounds so bad. Um, <laughs> no, okay, but okay, I, I, I'm just wondering what took you 20 years to like on, on her because I, like, I can't resist that. Like, it's, it's, I gotta be careful here, but uh, it's delicious. <laughs> well, it's one of my like, favorite things. Well, like, okay, so you know what? I, you know, I don't know what took it never so long. it never slipped. Like you never just let it like the a slip of the tongue. Never, never, no, like never, like you know, like I, I, yeah, you know, like okay. So we both eat the same kind of food, right? We both eat the same. I've seen what comes out of mine, right? And like it's like, well, shit, if that's coming out of mine, what's coming out of hers, <laughs> right? Like, do do I would I lick my own butthole? No, why would I do that? That's gross, right? And then, you know, we talk about it all the time at work. My coworkers do that stuff with their wives. And finally, I just got tired of talking and decided to put it to action, right? And it's like, you know what? We're in the shower. What better Perfect. time to do it, right? Perfect. Yeah. And just, oh, man. Just, oh, yeah. What took 20 years, though, is like, you know, 
I think, you know, we got together when we were like 16, right? So it's kind of like nobody really wants to do that when they're a teenager. I don't think anyway, right? Yeah. And then, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I am have a phobia of pink eye. So that maybe did it as well, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like who likes putting drops in their eyes all the time? Not me. Right. And like go to bed with itchy bum, wake up with, with, with pink eye, you know, and it's, it's just, it happens. So, um, that, that was part of it. And then, you know, COVID was a thing for like three years, right. You know, they were testing wastewater, you know, people could get COVID from ass to mouth. Can't they? I, I don't know. I don't know. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just sort of. Yeah, but if you're doing other things, you're going to get COVID regardless. A hundred percent. We live together. Yeah. But after, after you know, I had my appendix out a couple of years ago. She offered to wipe when I, afterwards, and I'm like, I'll just have a shower. Thanks. So, but she offered to wipe. Then I watched her give birth to two children. My children. I was, and then after that, I think it was like all cards are on the table now, right? Like, yeah. Well, I've seen your insides, literally. Like, <laughs> I wonder what those taste like now, right? Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. No, yeah. I can't believe I just said that, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what made you get on social media? Like, why? Why did you like? You know go from what what were you doing before social media to, to pass yeah. the time and kill the time and why did you start it sure um okay so uh we're gonna go back to 2020 right covid um yeah. everything's shut down um i was uh i've struggled with depression my entire life like from early childhood um on on and off right but i'm like always depressed it's there it it lingers right but i do i dip sometimes into deeper depressions um and i i was in a, a deep depression in in 2020 and um about i don't know 14 years ago or so um i went to get my motorcycle license and um here in Ontario, you gotta you gotta take this like three day course at, at a college, and so I, I'm on the last day of my course, and I, I had just started uh, like the testing, um, portion of the of the course, and it was raining. It was pouring rain, and the the one test that I had to do was like an emergency stop. So basically, you go as fast as you can. And then you got to like stop, emergency stop. And because it was wet, the ground was wet. I fishtailed. I flipped the bike. Um, I, I think they the bike was a write off. Like it, not my bike. They provide the bikes, right? And I, it kind of scared me a little bit. Um, so I I didn't end up uh, getting a bike. But that desire never really left me. And then, so fast forward to 2020, and I'm talking to my wife, um, and I said, you know what, like, this this feeling won't leave me. Like, I, I want a bike. And, you know, my wife, we have uh, we have an 11-year-old, right? Um, and she's like, absolutely not. You're not getting a bike. You know. So I was talking to my neighbor, and my neighbor uh, said, have you seen these, these uh, Can-Ams? There are three-wheelers. I'm like, I'm not fucking getting on a three wheel. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Uh, I'm like, those those are for old people, right? So, but I caved and I Googled uh, the Can Ams. I'm like, whoa, that's isn't it a that's cool. No, so um, I I got I had the Riker, so the Can Am Riker, right? Which is even cooler looking than the Spider. And I said to my wife, okay, babe. I'm like, okay, what about this? She's like. Okay, let's go check it out. So, uh, long story short, I ended up buying a Can-Am Riker. And because they're so, like, odd looking, you know, you see a two-wheeler on the road, nobody bats an eye or, you know. Yeah. But, so here I am, I've got this three-wheeler, and everybody, everywhere I go, people are stopping me. And there's, like, so interested in it because it's not something that you see every day. Um, so people wanted to take pictures of, of it. So I'm like, hey, you know what? I got to do something with this. I started a, an Instagram page 
and I called it Riker in the Six. And initially, it was just pictures of the Can Am Riker. And uh, eventually, I incorporated some pictures of me on it. And then all these beautiful lesbians started following me. And it just kind of blew up from there. So from Instagram, um, like I got my foundation of followers from Instagram and then I moved over to uh, to TikTok and yeah, every, the rest is history. Everything just uh, just blew up from there. But I did end up selling my, my Riker, um, I think it was last year. Yeah, I sold it last year, but the name is the name. That's my name now. I'm Riker, so it just, yeah. You, you got a two-wheeler, don't you know? No. No? You So you don't have any bike now? No, I, I got a J-Wagon now. A J, oh, <laughs> you, sold, you sold the Riker that you wanted for so long for a J-Wagon. Oh, yeah, I mean, so it serves its purpose. The, yeah. The Riker served its purpose, you know. It got me, it got me through um, that depression that I was in, yeah. and I I held on to it for for two years, and then uh, you know I just got to I, I I wasn't riding it anymore. I had no desire to ride it anymore. It was like, okay, I I conquered that, I did it, and now it's out of my system, and it's just sitting in the garage. So I might as well just sell it. So I yeah. I sold it. Yeah, but I'm I'm loving the Jeep. I've got the. Uh, it's a convertible, so the top I just hit a button and the and the roof just goes back. Mine doesn't have that. Yeah, no. Mine doesn't <laughs> even have Bluetooth. That's a big issue. That's <laughs> because you got the stepbrother. Yeah, I exactly. John yeah. C. Riley. I got the John C. Riley of Jeeps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um I that and you know, that's what I love about your page too, right? Like you're very big into the mental health. And you're yeah. very big into like, hey, you know what? I'm I'm depressed. I I didn't yeah. go through depression, and now I'm out of it. I, I'm depressed, right? Yeah. And and you share that with people, and you and it helps you know other people understand and and be comfortable and free to also come out and be like, hey, me too. You know, like we're here. Mm -hmm. You know, and my podcast, it's it's very much become like a blue collar podcast, but like yeah. also you know the roots of it is blue collar, uh, mental health and addictions, and mm -hmm. like. Also, if you're a creator and I enjoy your stuff, let's have a conversation, right? Yeah. Because, um, you know, um, the idea of it is let's get more eyes on your stuff. And maybe, you know, talking about it, you know, we'll get more eyes on both our stuff, right? Yeah. And then, you know, it's, it's collaboration in a sense. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I love that. I, and I love to talk. Uh, talking is my thing, right? And that's why TikTok and the podcast and going live yeah. and all that. It works, right? And yeah. it's it's sort of my outlet as well, 2020, yeah. you know. And we all got on here in 2020, in 2020, it seems, right? So, you know. Yeah, yeah no. It's, yeah. For me, it's like um, I, I never realized how much I love entertaining um, or how much I love acting. You know, I... Uh, I have got all kinds of content, right? Um, but it's those like those voiceovers, the ones where I get to act and I and I, I I hit the record button and it's like I become somebody else, and it's such an outlet. It's it feels, it's like I forget everything else in that moment while I'm recording. I forget everything else. Yeah. And yeah, and I I enjoy it so much. But yeah, like I've. In the very beginning, um, when I first came to TikTok, I was, I don't know if you're familiar with the term thirst trap. Um, I was yep. pretty much just a thirst trap um, on the lesbian side of TikTok. And uh, it, it, it just, I'm all about soul, soul on soul connection. I'm all about like deep, meaningful, emotional connections, right? And my looks can only take me so far in life. Like it's not, it's not validating to me. People tell me I'm beautiful a hundred times a day in my comments. It's not validating to me. But yeah. once I started talking about mental health and my struggles and, you know, I, I've talked openly about being on antidepressants, coming off of antidepressants. And when people say to me, Riker, you inspire me. Riker, you inspired me to go to my doctor. You inspired me to get a prescription for, for, for antidepressants or you inspired me to go to the gym. That's the shit that validates me. That's the shit that, that fills my soul. Yeah, right? Amen so, to that. Yeah. It's, yeah. it was when, it was when I, when I became 
like when I went from that thirst trap to being more authentically myself and sharing myself and being more vulnerable that that's when I really started to get something out of TikTok, social media. Yeah. 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 We're, we're all here to get kind of something out of it. Right. And yeah. you know, I, I love that you found your something, right. That's yeah. amazing. A lot of people are just kind of, a lot of people don't use it for what, how powerful of an engine it is. Right. Same with Instagram. A lot of people are on there just fucking around, just dicking around. And that's cool too. You just, yeah. Hey, however you want to use it. That's awesome. Right. But like, it's such a, an amazing tool right like really um i've connected with people from all over the world in my industry right and yeah I talk about this a lot yeah um yeah. i've talked about it a lot i work in oil and gas and like at the beginning of 2020 i was you know it's it didn't uh covid didn't uh, um give me mental health issues but it exposed them right it, yeah. it did a really good job at being like hey man I'm right here, you know, and you don't know yeah. I'm here, but I'm right here. Right. And so <clears throat> it, it was the beginning of me working away a lot. Like I spent 20 days at home in two years. It was crazy because I had to fly and flying was hard. Right. Yeah. So um, I didn't know in, in my head, I didn't know if this is the industry I wanted to be in anymore. I didn't know if I wanted to be here. Didn't know if I should be here. Didn't know if this was for me. Right. And then, I connected with people not so it started in Alberta, but then it went like Alberta, Saskatchewan, BC, Texas, Pennsylvania. Then it moved overseas. And then, you know, eventually like oh I people as far away as Australia, Malaysia, yada yada, and and talking and connecting to all these people within the same industry. And you know, that's when it hit me. Hey, these are my people, right? This is this is where I need to be, this is where I want to be, and this is where I'm gonna be, right? And and it's been crazy. I've gotten tons of job opportunities out of it. Um, you know, we're actually working on one right now. By the time this comes out, it might happen. So, um, but uh, job opportunities, um, you know, I didn't ever in a million years think that I can make money off my phone, right? I just thought, hey, there's people that do that. I don't know how to do that, right? And now, you know, I'm on Facebook. We're monetized on Facebook. Instagram's monetizing by the end of the year, I hear. So there's that. Um, there's, you know, I have my own my own merch line. I got, you know, I got my own merch line. I got, um, you know, when you go live on TikTok, you have your battles, you know. My my life, my my family's life has changed because of because of this, right? You know, like we've we've had a good time with it. So, you know, picking up that phone was the hardest was the hardest step, you know, in 2020, picking it up, putting it in front of you for the first time and hitting record. That was the hardest thing. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then you did it and and look where we are now. Yeah. It's funny that you mentioned that because uh, so TikTok's got this thing recently, right, where it shows you on, on this day, like what you created on yep. this day a year ago or two years ago, three I've got videos that are coming out from 2020 and I'm looking at these videos. And I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking? That's yeah. terrible. That content is so bad. Yeah. Or like, yeah. what, what am I wearing? Right? Yeah. Like, I, yeah it's. Uh, oh, yeah. It's been oh, a yeah. ride. I, I was affiliated with a couple different, you know, circles uh, throughout my time on here. And the first one I was affiliated with, I was, I'm wearing a hat. I'm wearing Buddy's hat. And, like, I want to repost that video because, like, you know, that's some OG content. Some of, I find some of my best work was that OG stuff, right? Like, some of that. Yeah. Some of that OG stuff is fire, right? Like I like where my my content's gone now. It's way better than what it was, but like yeah. that stuff right there is what helped me get to where I am, yeah. right? Yeah. And I want to repost it, but I'm wearing the hat, and it's a sore right. subject. It's a sore subject because of events that led up. You know, I'm like, wow, I can't repost that. That sucks. But I yeah. can remake it, right? And yeah. and I re sometimes I remake it, and yeah. yeah, no, that OG stuff though, man. Like that that really helped you know, accelerate all of it, you know, like, yeah. boom, my first 10,000, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Where are you at now? I'm in Alberta. I'm in camp. Yeah. I'm working right. nights. I I'm working a night yeah. shift right now. I'm on call 24 seven. So like I could work like four or five days in a row, go back to camp. They call me out uh, again. Yeah. I'll work all night. I'll go back. I'll work all day. I'll go back. And then they'll be like, Hey, I need you to go back out. And I was like, all right. So I do that for like three to four weeks and then yeah. I, I go home. That's your dorm room, yeah? Yeah, this is this is where the magic happens. 
sheets oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, I've been in this room for five years. Those wow. those sheets right there, they're quite unusable. Yeah. Um, if you were to <laughs> take a black light to this room here, it would look like a laser tag arena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's a good time, you know. Like, um, you know, I, I recently, you know, I've. <sighs> You know, the way I've gone with, you know, monetizing the platforms and stuff like that, I'm starting to make, you know, decent money where to the point where, like, maybe I don't need to be here. I could, like, go home and spend more time at home. Yeah. So, like, that's, it's kind of, like, kind what of What are nice, you doing, you know? though? How are you monetizing? Because you're, you're a Canadian, right? So, the, the Creators Fund wasn't available to us. Not on TikTok. Not on TikTok. On, oh. yeah, on Facebook. Facebook, I'm monetized over there. And then, you know, like mm. affiliations and stuff like that. Okay. You know, uh, right. you know uh, my own merch line and stuff. And hopefully, you know, one day, one day, I, I, I would love if the Creators Fund came to Canada. Wouldn't That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, I heard yesterday that they're doing away with it altogether, even in America. I, I don't mm. know if that's true, but yeah. yeah. Wow. That would mm -hmm. be... That would be interesting. I know a lot of those people. Well, what I've heard from a lot of those Americans too is that it didn't really make a make a difference, anyways. You know, once you got a part of it, they suppressed your views, right? And right. then it was I kind of like, that. yeah. So you know, TikTok's kind of kind of on the down right now, anyways, with views. I don't know if you've noticed. I've noticed yeah. it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I get more traction off of Instagram than I do on 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 TikTok yeah. and Facebook. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've definitely noticed that the, the whole algorithm has changed. Um, they're really pushing people to go live. Like that's what helps with the views. They want you to go live. And, and I understand that now because they, they make money, right? If people send gifts or through the battles, yeah. um, I am highly, highly against battling. Um, I don't know if you know that about me. It, it was, a a big part of my platform last year. I spoke about it, um, a lot. And I actually didn't turn my gifts on. I would, I would turn my gifts off um, every single live until uh, July, June or July of last year. Um, and I, when I turned them on, uh, the whole purpose of of turning them on was to to give back. And um, we, when I say we, I mean me and my. TikTok family, we call ourselves Riker Nation. I don't know. It's, yep, it's, yep. it's kind I've of a thing. It. Hey, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Riker Nation fanboy, you know? Like, I, when I yeah. came across you, when I discovered you, uh, I was like, fuck, that's awesome. And then I found you on Instagram, like, wherever I needed to find you, and I followed, and then I messaged yeah. you. Yeah, so that that was the whole purpose of turning the gifts on was was to give back. But this whole Riker Nation thing is just for like really blown up. I was in a live. Um, I, I was on a one of my own lives one day, and somebody just came in and dropped Riker Nation in the comments, and never saw that person again. Just gone, and it was a guy. So I, I have no idea where that came from, um, but it just kind of kind of blew up and. Yeah, I've been I've cool. been wondering, you know, we have a T-shirt that says Frost Nation on it from almost two years ago. Right. Yeah. And but like, I don't really like that. We're trying to rebrand that. Right. And mm -hmm. like, I don't I don't like that. Was, um, uh, the guest who was on my podcast, who's actually the episode's coming out this Tuesday. Um, but I guess it would be if you listen to this, it's two weeks ago. Um the guest who was on, uh, we were trying to figure out what to call call my followers. You know, uh, was yeah. it would be dickheads, dickians, <laughs> dick nation, frost nation? Um, do we call them um, dickonites? You know, what, what do we call them? You know, and and yeah. we're, we're we're playing around with it a little bit here, and so I don't know. Maybe we'll keep it. I just say stay frosty all the time. Anyway, maybe frost nation is. Oh, good, I like but, that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm really opposed to you using the word dick in your. It, yeah, I, I I'm leaning more towards the the frost. I, I yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why that's why <laughs> that's why the podcast is just called On the Throne, right? Yeah. And like it's really On the Throne with Dick. It, that started as like um, uh, a mini series on my main TikTok channel, uh, which I think I follow you on there. You don't follow that one back. I'm barely on there anymore. That was like. I started to get, I, I took a couple little uh, small violations over there back in the day. So I, and now my, my backup account outgrew my main, like, is your main a lot. Yeah. yeah. So it was uh, on the throne with Dick where I'd sit on the toilet and interview other creators. 
for you only had a minute, right? So yeah. like I'd be like, hey, you know, what's your favorite toilet paper? What food gives you the runs the most? Shit like that, right? And I like that. Yeah, hey, we should do that. You know, I I made one a couple months ago. It was a couple months ago. You know, I would I'd send you my part and you'd send me your part back, throw it in cap cut, yada yada yada. It was a couple yeah. months ago where I did one. So I still post over there, just not as much. But yeah. uh on the throne with Dick, that's that's how it started. And then so you know, I was a part of another podcast last year when that mm-hmm. folded. I'm like, okay, I'm not done here, right? Like, yeah. just because that's over, I'm not done here, right? So um, I was like, what do I call this thing? And I sat on it. And I'm like, what? The million dollar idea is sitting right there on the throne with Dick, right? So, uh, but when I tell people, I'm like, oh, it's just called it on the throne, right? Because it's hard pressed to get people to come on something called with Dick. Right. And it's hard press to sell something to people like with, with Dick in the title. So like, it's just yeah. on the throne. And then when I, when I'm on here, it's like, Hey, welcome back to another episode of on the throne with Dick. Cause that's what it is. Right. Yeah. yeah. And originally the idea was uh, at first I was going to say, um, every episode was going to be called on the throne with, and then whoever's name, whoever was yeah. on there with, but I'd have to change yeah. up the picture every time. And I'm like, yeah, you yeah. know, I, 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 I don't have time for that. I barely got time to do the podcast in itself. I haven't missed an episode. This will be like episode 48, and I do wow. one a week. So here we are 48 weeks in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah. Um, But what I gather from, from your lives and, and the chat, I'm always reading the chat. Yeah. People want to see more of you all the time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and people hate that. There are people out there that hate how loved I am. And I don't know. I don't know what it is about me, but my following is so loyal. They are. So, so loyal. Uh, they are hardcore supporters. They have my back. And when I tell you, like, we've been through, uh, some tough times together, um, on that app, um, yeah, it, I, it's amazing to me. I go live and, and I, you know, there's always like four or 500 people in there. Um, it's, it's, uh, it, but I'm also very humbled by it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I love it. I love it. I love that people relate to me in some way and i think that that's what it is we're all um, going through it right you're you're yeah. one of the few that you know speak out about it hey i'm going through it not i yeah. was going through it i am going through it yeah right? and yeah so like that's like you said right that you're genuine and you're you're there right you're relatable and you know when you went from thirst traps to the bike to just you you yeah. know that's when you grew the most right so that is when I grew the most, but however, uh, I, I still like to pump out the occasional thirst trap, you know? Yeah. I've seen them. I've seen them. I'm still that you know? guy. Yeah. You, you come out with your glasses on you. Uh, you got your hair cut recently. I like the little, the little hairdo you had. I buzzed but... it yesterday. Yeah. I had the, the man bun going on. Yeah. Hair cut man bun going on for six years and I, and I buzzed it, um, because Man, TikTok is like so much, so much. You learn so much on TikTok, so much knowledge out there. I learned that, and whether it's true or not, I don't know, but apparently hair holds on to memories. I heard that too. There's a video. There's a video. There's many videos yeah, of that. Like, see, are. like, you. Know, I have no memories. My memories are gone, <laughs> right? Like, you know. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know you didn't have any hair underneath that my, hat. My memories are gone. There's a reason why I wear that hat, right? And hey, yeah. you know what? Actually, I changed up my diet this summer. I added a lot more magnesium, a lot more iron, and a lot more protein. And the hair started. I I buzzed that. I buzzed it recently. It's coming yeah. back on the sides, but it started growing back uh, up up and around here where it was. Wow, there was really? nothing there for a couple yeah. of years anywhere, and it started growing back with the supplements. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't even supplements. I was just doing protein shakes from Costco and uh, the oh, Fairlife okay. ones, right? Like, hey, yeah. I don't know if you can count that as like uh as a as a healthy lifestyle change or not, but hey, whatever. I'm doing it, right? Yeah. It made me feel better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no yeah. proteins. 
protein's good for you for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Same with same with iron, right? You know, that's the whole reason or not iron, uh yeah, iron, not but this it's the the one that makes you poop. Fiber? No. Fiber. Magnesium. Magnesium make you poop. Magnesium make you sleepy too. Yeah. It's supposed to really clear your mind before oh. bed. Yeah. 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 So I decided, so, you know what? Let's give this a shot. Let, I need to get rid of some memories. So let's just, uh, let's just get rid of the hair. It's hair. It grows back. <laughs> I need to yeah. forget. I need to forget for a little while. <laughs> yeah. I don't really get attached, um, to like material things. You know, I, yeah. I get attached to people, but not like, that's why it was so easy for me to get rid of my bike. You know, same thing with my hair. I'm like, I came home from the gym yesterday. I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, gone. Hell yeah. Just like that. Um yeah. do you know do you know what viscosity is? Uh no. It's like the thickness or density of a load. Right? Like fluid. density of a what? A load. Oh a lo oh shit. Yeah, okay, I know what it is. Okay. So where I'm going with it, yeah, shit could be pretty viscous. Uh <laughs> Oh boy. So where I'm going with it is the podcast is sponsored, right? Uh, you know, the mud man, he sponsors the podcast. He, the whole reason for the mic and the headset before we were raw dogging it, we were raw dogging the shit out of audio and, uh, you know, it, freestyle. It just, yeah, we're dog, doggy style. Did you say doggy style? No, I said freestyle. Oh, okay. <laughs> freestyle. I was saying raw dogging it. All, all I hear was style. Like, oh, doggy oh style. so the mud that man too. deals in, in thick loads. You know, um, uh huh. Yeah. So on on the rig, you know, uh, you pump thick, the thickness of the mud and the water and shit. And uh, www mud. I think it's mud market now. Mudmarket.com. I'm pretty sure he changed it uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was he was talking about it. I gotta ask him. I keep meaning to do that. But if not, it's mudmanmarket.com or it's mudmarket.com now. Either way, you know, for all your drilling fluid and laboratory testing equipment needs. If you got a thick load, the mud man's on your side. Yeah. Okay. I'm a <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> we're, hey. we're, we've talked too much about dick and loads uh, in an hour. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Well, well, too much. Is it too much? Uh, no. It's fine, man. No. It's good. It's good. Um, Is there yeah, an HR no. department? I'm taking you to HR. Well, in the oil fields, I mean, like, HR is sort of, like, you can, you can, there is one. I don't know how well received it would be. Um, it's, uh, I, if, if, if that could work, I have a lot of complaints built up that I could, oh, that I could sure. take to HR. For sure. It would be, it'd be one hell of a time. But then again, I, I probably wouldn't have a job after that either. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. get stitches, right? Yeah. Oh, snitches get stitches for sure. Yeah. <laughs> how how many dogs do you have? Just one dog. Just one. I thought I heard two. No, no. I just just that was my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just, is, she just there? is she there with you? She's she right there here. With you? Uh, hi. Bark with me if you're my dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just one. Oh, shit, that's awesome. No, um, yeah. how long have you guys been together? Oh shit, uh, we're going on to sixteen years. 16. Yeah. So and which one? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you continue. You you. Continue. Yeah, you were you're talking about your brother. Your brother's forty, and he's dating um, a twenty year old. My wife and I are twenty three years apart. Good for you. Oh, I love cougars. Yeah. Oh, she's older than you are. She's older than me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you? What? Is she like sixty? Sexy? Yeah, she's sexy. Sixty, sixty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good yeah, for I have a video. you. Good for her. Did you see the video? I posted one yesterday. Actually, I posted it. I okay. Look. I kept her private for the longest time. I would not show like she and she has no interest in TikTok, like zero. She she sits with me. She'll sit with me during my lives, right? But yeah, 
Uh, she had no interest in making videos and acting and entertaining. But this past year, I've been able to get her involved a little, a little bit. So yesterday morning, before I left for the gym, she sends me this video and she's dying laughing. I watched the video. I'm dying laughing. I'm like, okay, um, I'm going to the gym. When I come back from the gym, we're doing this. So we made the video and... Uh, I think it's probably close to like 300,000 views right now. It's nice. like, yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. So yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a 60 ish. Good for her. Good for, yeah. good for you guys, man. You know what? I love them older ladies. My wife's a little older than me. She's like, not even a year older. It's like 340, that 44 count, days. Dick. 344 <laughs> days. Okay. So like she's my cougar. All right. So hold yeah, on. Yeah. I love older women. You know yeah. why? The juice yeah. box and cookies you get afterwards are just phenomenal, you know? And the chance that she's gonna run you a bath after is like it's pretty high. You know, like what what's better than yeah. a bath? They take care of you for sure. They do. They, they, they do. take care of you. Yeah. Now, when you say juice box, what are we referring to when we when juice box? Like an actual juice box or a uh, juice box? Yeah, juice I thought box. You were talking about something else. Yeah. Well, no. What's your juice box? Now I gotta know. You can't just. You can't just. What, what are we talking about? Juice box. The juicy box. I I had a feeling that's where it was. I had Always. a feeling. Always, it's right I see. there. It's always right I see. there. I see. We're talking too much about dicks and not enough about the box. Listen, it's on the throne with Riker, right? I'm Riker, so that's, that's fair. This is that's my fair. show. Hey, we're gonna talk know, about the P, not the D. Hey, yeah. you know, you know, I let's talk about it. What, what, what is? How do we talk about this? What 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 do you want to bring up about? What are some things you wish more men would know about it, other than the 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 devil's doorbell? We we already know we don't know where that is. Uh, well, listen. As a woman loving woman, I don't want men to know anything about it because I, I want them all for myself. <laughs> I want men to know nothing about it. Hey, flex those yeah. muscles for a minute. Flex those muscles for a minute, like. <laughs> There you go. Okay. That's all right. No, no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. What that, about the, my strongest, best muscle is actually in my mouth. It's, it's I not, bet. Yeah. It's not my pipes. Like I, I got some good pipes. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, but it, it's my tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Right, babe? You betcha. Yeah. See? So she's got red hair, right? Did I see? I, I saw no. part of it. Okay, I saw red hair last night, just like sticking over your shoulder a little bit. I'm like, oh, she's with a redhead. No, 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 not. It was the lighting. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, it may have been. It may have been the ring light. Yeah, no, she's not a ginger. No. Oh, oh, okay. That's what I was gonna ask. Actually, okay, hold up. So yeah. So you said she's older, and you have yeah. an 11 year old. Who carried? I did. You good for you. Good for you. Yeah. So. My wife has uh, two older children from a previous marriage. And so, yeah. you know, she, she, she carried, she gave birth. She went through all of that. And, and, and uh, we decided for many reasons that I would do it. Um, I could, I hadn't experienced it. I wanted to experience it. So yeah, we went through the whole, you know, choosing a donor and uh, fertility treatment together. Yeah. I carried Nice. I would like to experience that at some point in time. I just I don't, don't know if I can do. handle that. I had a, <laughs> hey, listen, getting kicked in the balls hurts a lot more than childbirth. I've heard and, that. And and like you never hear another man ask to be kicked in the balls again, right? My wife is asking for a third kid here right away. So like right. or so working it can't on hurt it. that bad. Yeah. Right. And and hold yeah. on. There's all this talk about there's all this talk about childbirth being painful, but no one talks about the little chair that's like stiff that I had to sit in in the corner of the room for like 12 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Let's or, talk about and that. Sleep this is not going to go well. <laughs> I made that video uh, a few months back. My wife actually sent it to me, the video of me sleeping and like doing the ugly snore. And she's like, you need to make this into a video and you need to say this. And I did it and it did pretty good actually. So yeah. 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 My wife, my wife also did not like to be a part of my social media at all. Um, yeah. 
the first like year and a half ish or so like it was just like she didn't watch she didn't come to my lives she didn't watch my videos she didn't like mm. them she didn't want nothing to do with it she's like you know what like mm. and if i posted anything that stepped over the line she'd be like no that comes down now i'm like oh yeah okay 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 so yeah. nothing about our sex life could be talked about right and that's that's cool i get it yeah that's sacred and, yeah. yeah so then yeah. so then like um I can't remember what it was. So I, I remember I spent two years at, or 20 days at home in two years. So I wasn't, and yeah. you know, so when I started going home more and I moved that closer to me, when I, when, when, when that started happening and I got to go home a lot more, I started going live at home and mm -hmm. people are just like, you have a home. You're, you're, you're at home. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. And they can hear my wife in the background. My wife is just cutting me apart, like just dissing me. Right. They yeah. just, and and so she became part of the background. She was like, um, what's her name? Uh, um, Al or not Al? Uh, Tim? Was it Tim? Not Tim. Wilson from the Home Improvement. He always hide oh, behind yeah. the fence, right? Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She'd have <laughs> that no face. Was my wife. Yeah. She'd have no face. And yeah. then um, you know, and then she started. Then she started, you know, making a little bit of videos, a little bit here and there. And then she'd allow me to make videos with her in them. And then, you know, she made a few last year that what did like every time she posts something, it, it blows up. So like it does really good. So she's got like 1500 followers. She's not in it for that. She, she yeah. stopped making them. Then she, she got 1500, was able to go live, stop making mm -hmm. videos. And then she comes live every now and then. And, and, yeah. and she goes live with me and she's like, Hey, you know, I'm here. Yada, yada, yada. And then she's like, I'm done. And then leaves. She, yeah. She's not about that. She don't care. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's been my it's wife. Been a lot she of likes to go through my comments section, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that sort of yeah. thing. She goes through my comment section. She's like, "Um, babe, you need to address this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I I love seeing videos that have blown up, and I love going right to the comment section. That's what I I see a video that that, that has a lot of views. I'm like, oh, I'm going to the comment section. I go there, yeah. you know, there they are, and this is what I come for, right? I'm just like, where's the popcorn? Give me, give it all to me. I'm I'm just gonna hang out here and read comments all day. This is great. Yeah, I like to I like to I like to push. I like to see how much I can get away with. Yeah. Um, but I've never had her say to me, uh, I, I don't like that or or that needs to come down. Um, I'll actually do that to myself sometimes. I'll create something, I'll I'll put it up and then I'll be like, mm, no, nah, that's tasteless. Yeah. And I'll take it down myself. But she's actually, yeah, she's never just never done that. So Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. doing something right. No, hey, hundred percent. And and like that's it right like my wife allowed me to start joking around a little bit and dabble in 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 our in our sex life a little bit yeah. right when she started yeah. becoming a part of the community and you know i work away and you know people in that community you know you know what i mean like women they're home alone or they're at home with the kids or whatever mm -hmm. and the men or or sometimes it's the women that work away in the men are and it's like going home and it, like that first time you're home right the first one's for me right and and you know like <laughs> and the night before the, we come home the women like to call it shave day oh it's shave day right and yeah. yeah so like you know she allowed it to happen a little bit and as long as i don't like go overboard with it or take it too far which yeah. which i did at the beginning of this episode <laughs> you but think she's gonna think that oh you know what she'll just roll her eyes and be like oh. yeah you know, I, I say something about her in every episode. She knows I do. And yeah. uh, when I'm at home, I'll just like start playing it randomly in the background somewhere, wherever I'm in the house. And she's like, hey, you need to turn this off. I don't want to listen to it right now. So then I'll go over and I'll put it on the Alexa and I'll turn it right to the part <laughs> where I talk about her. And, and she just looks at me. She's like, oh, my God. You know, you, should, oh, you know? and yeah. I, I think I, I love it. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't want to keep you too much longer. I don't know what you got. It's like pushing six o'clock there. What is it almost dinner time or what? Yeah. Almost. It's it's, it's NFL it's NFL Sunday. Oh, okay. Are you a Leaf fan? No. What? No. No. What a waste um, of being in Toronto. Mm -mm. No, I was a big, big hockey fan when I was a teen. Um I was a oh, I was a huge Doug Gilmore fan. Like Dougie back G. when hockey was good. Back when hockey um, was good, hundred percent. 
when 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 the team had heart, Wendell Clark, uh, y- you know the team I'm talking about. And yeah. I just lost interest in it. Like once Wendell got traded, once Gilmore got traded, uh, I completely lost interest in hockey. So now the only sport I watch is uh, is baseball. Blue Jays. That's it. I can't get yeah. into blue. I can't get into the Blue Jays. Can't get into baseball. Baseball boring. I went to a Jays game no. once, and it was like the worst four hours of my life. No, baseball is the most beautiful sport, and it's it's not simple. There's so much going on, and there's so much. There's always something happening and things are changing. And, and no, it's, I hate it when people say it's boring. You just, no. It's oh, not. shit. It's a beautiful game. Yeah. Um. So hockey is still a beautiful sport. The NHL is it trash. Is. The yeah. NHL is a trash league. Right. They, they, they can't get their head out of their ass. They don't know which way is up half the time. They don't know which one of their rules they should follow and which one they're allowed to break. And I just can't get behind the NHL. Like, yeah, I, I try, I'm a big Leaf fan. I barely yeah. watch games anymore. I can't. It's painful. Really? Yeah. Oh, painful. Painful. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I watched an NHL game. No interest. Oh. None. It's, I, if it's on the TV, it's, it's, it sounds dry to me. Did you ever watch The Passion Returns? Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, so it was a, a movie that they made after the I want to say the 92 93 season, the Blue Jay uh Leafs. And there was just so much heart in that team and it just like I don't I don't see it and I I don't I don't hear that passion anymore. I guess that's why they call it the passion returns, but kind of Well, there the for a while there they had the passion that unites us all too, right? And well, last night they had a lot of passion. Last night was Max Domi was starting to look like his dad last night, just throwing oh, fists. Yeah? Oh, it was last night was probably okay. I watched the highlights. I didn't watch the game because I was like, yeah. oh, it's another Leafs game, you know. Like I love the Leafs. I can't get behind what they've done with ticket prices and how fans, actual fans, can't afford to go see them play. Yeah. Right. And you got all yeah. these suits in the bottom row, yeah. you know, coming in late, leaving early, don't right. not even watching the game. They were like into it. Max Domi was throwing fists. Uh, Mark Giordano, the oldest player in the NHL, throwing fists, you know, guys making minimum wage, just throwing haymakers. Yeah. Um, you know, Matt uh, Reeves, Ryan Reeves, he plays for the Leafs. He's supposed to be their tough guy. He got scratched mm-hmm. because, you know, just no fight in him. You know what I mean? Like, Matthews gets hit. He just allows it to happen. You, what the hell are you here for, man? Right? Max Domi yeah. and Mark Gio. Uh, there's just a couple, a couple of guys that are on this team now that are like, hey, you know what? Like, if Ryan Reeves, you're taking up, you're taking up ice time for, for these young bucks that are playing in the AHL that deserve to come up. And the guys that came up last night, they all scored. They all, like, made beautiful oh. plays. They played with energy. And, yeah. um, you know, it was it was nice to see. It was really nice to so see. So it's the NHL that ruins them. It's the NHL that ruins – the NHL yeah. has ruined the game. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I got – I got one question for you. One more question yeah. for you. And I'm not going to be too much longer here. So, you know, Mount Rushmore has three of them or four of the most influential uh, figures in history on it. Um, if yeah. you could have your own Mount Rushmore with four people that you look up to Ooh. or inspire to be, who would they be and why? Okay. So uh, without question, Celine Dion. All right. So she's my childhood idol. Love her. She drove all night to get to you. She sure did. Uh, yeah. So, oh, uh, and I don't know. Rolling Stone left Celine Dion off of the lit, the, the top 200 singers of all time. How, 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 how? Because uh, she's Celine Dion. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so I'm salty about that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, man, this is tough. But why, why Celine Dion? What, what does she do for you? How does she turn your crank? Yeah, yeah it's not the crank that she, turn, <laughs> that she turns. No, it's just um, I just got really attached to her music when I was about 12. Yeah. Um, and she just became my favorite singer. And, and the, the thing about her is that she's so kind and so humble. She comes from this massive family. Um, you know, being Canadian doesn't hurt. But you know what? 
you've never heard a bad thing about her. You've never heard, oh man, she, she's such a bitch, like, you know, behind yeah. closed doors, or yeah. you never hear anything like that about her. She's just a kind soul, and she's got the voice, like she can, the voice of an angel, but she can belt it out. Oh, um, and she's just so passionate, and I love passion. I'm all about passion. You're all about that passion. I'm all about that passion, man, but I think I'm hard-pressed to, to think of three more. Like, she's She's just it for me. Um, your your wife isn't on the Mount Rushmore. Oh, okay, so man. oh, <laughs> I called called out. What, I don't even know your wife's name, honestly. Like, I feel like that's I mean, something I'm failing at. I mean, if we're including family, I I wasn't even thinking about family. You can include else. anyone you want. Anyone. Fictional, ma real, like made up. Dead, alive, barely alive. Um, all right, all right. So yeah. we'll go with uh, my wife and, and daughter. Oh, this is going to be a tough one because so I've got Celine that she's for me. Um, so now I've got to choose either Tina Turner, who's my wife's idol, or Taylor Swift, who's my daughter's idol. Oof, shit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Tina. <laughs> we'll go with Tina. Yeah, happy yeah. wife, happy life, right? So Hey, your daughter's gonna grow up and move and leave you. Your wife's gonna that's be right it. be by your side till the end of <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna be You're gonna be her by her someday. side. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna yeah. be hooked up to machines and you're just gonna be yeah. like, you know, like yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. What babe? Yeah, I picked Taylor Swift. Of course I did. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do we got? One more? Two more? Or what? What? I gave you four. Uh, what are you talking about? Did you about? give me four? Is there a Celine? Celine, my wife, my daughter, and then I needed to choose one for oh, like, okay, okay. Because I got my company. I, I've got I've got Celine, but so I needed somebody for either my wife or my daughter. So we went with Tina. So that four. There you go. So yeah, what, what do you love? What do you love the most about your wife? Like, why is she up there? So okay, my wife. In 16 years, has never made me cry. Shut up. Yeah. And to me, that's a big deal because um, we just have that kind of a relationship. And, I, and, and, you know, I'm always hearing about men making women cry. I've made my wife Listen. cry. I'm not going to lie. I, I try not to. Um, I'm better. Than what I was when I was younger, way better. Yeah, you know, we were 16, sure. 17, 18. I was I was a dick, you know. Yeah. Um, nowadays my wife is my everything, right? Like yeah, that is that is a queen right there. And you know, if she cries, I'm in a bad mood because you know, why well, what made you cry? Was yeah. it me? Well, shit. If I made you cry, then I need to yep. reflect on what I was doing. So it's true. If if she's in a bad mood, I'm in a bad mood. I'm worried and I just want to like cheer her up. Um, but rarely are we, oh, hold on. The dog got a knife. Um, Dog's coming to get all stabby stabby. Yeah. She, um, the that thing dog about, from Winnipeg? <laughs> from Toronto. <laughs> um, the thing about our relationship, because I have the, the benefit of her being older and, and her having, you know, been married before. Um, I'm a runner, right? Like that's my nature um, when things get tough. And she wouldn't let me run, right? Like, we've been together for a long time. And now she's, you know, if we, we went through some tough times, like all marriages do, you know, but this was a long time ago. But she was like, no, like, we're going to, we're going to work this out, right? Yep. It was my depression. It was my, it was, it was me. It was completely, you know, my depression that was causing problems. Um, but she's just so kind very very kind uh kind to me and yeah never made me cry so i'm gonna give her that my uh my wife uh same thing you know when we were like 16 17 i tried to i tried to run right yeah i, I it was all about um it was all about you know um um, you know, my dad and my, my issues with him. Cause I watched him, how he treated women growing up I watched him, how he was. And it was like, well, shit, is that how I'm supposed to do it? Right. Yeah. And no, it's not. 
So my right. wife, um, you know, she wouldn't let me do that. She actually had to mold me to be a better person. Yeah. Right. She's like, don't be like that guy. Right. That's wrong. Yep. So, you know, and, you know, she wouldn't let me run. She wouldn't let me leave. And, you know, every time I fucked up or, or, or been a dick, she's like, Hey, we're working through this. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I, I love that. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 This is, this has been amazing. This has been a lot of fun and we finally got it done. You know what I mean? Like finally. we've been working yeah. on it for how long, you know? Yeah. A few months. Yeah. A few months. A few months. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, no, thanks for coming on. This has been awesome. And, you know, I can't wait till it comes out. This is my baby, right? Like, I get excited to record. I get excited on release day. I get excited for the first, for hours before it drops. And then it drops. And I'm like, ah, you know, and then and then I, I have a lot of fun with it. So, you know, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, it's been fun. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. And it's perfect because I just got a text message saying that, hey, we got to go to work now. So we were supposed to go at six. Oh. We're leaving now. There you go. Yeah, right, be well, safe soon. Anyway, no, yeah. you you be safe. You be safe. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> with safe. with with the accommodator. Okay. Be yeah. safe. Don't break your uh, jaw. Yeah. No. See, that was just like a one time. That was a one timer. It was Why? A one -timer. If it's so yeah, fun. Yeah. I just. Yeah. yeah no. It's, because if you, again, if you go back to like the concept of it, you know what? I I've got a mouth and I've got fingers and and I don't yes. need that. But I, love I, just, it. I needed to try it once. You know. Yeah. 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 I I'm hear done. you. Yeah. All now right. It's well, collecting hey. dust in the toolbox. Yeah. Riker. You stay frosty. You froze. Did you freeze? You froze. Say it again. Uh -oh. oh, you froze. Can you hear me now? Yeah. You stay frosty. No, you stay frost. You stay frosty. Well, it's nice out right now. It's not minus 40, so I can't, but I will try. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hey, you have a good night, eh? And, and you too. Uh, thanks for coming on. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you, Dick. Stay frosty. Thank you. Tell the wife and kids and the wife and kid and dog I say hi and bye. And All right. Enjoy your dinner. All right. All right. This you have been, a safe night. All right. All right bye, Dick. I will. Bye. bye.